last couple of years, you have probably noticed that your grocery bill, yeah, it's gone mm -hmm. up. Right now, there's a remedy being worked on in Jefferson City to repeal the tax on food altogether. Yeah, and while it would save so much, local governments are panicking. News Force John Kipper is in Crestwood with what cities believe this will cost you. John? Yeah, behind me is the site of what was formerly Crestwood Court Shopping Mall. And when it closed, the city of Crestwood lost a lot of tax money. But as you can tell, a Deerberg's is getting ready to come in in a few weeks. And when it does come, the city of Crestwood is likely to recoup some of that lost tax money. But now the Missouri legislature is considering a bill that would completely repeal the grocery tax, leaving some cities shortchanged. I don't know anybody who really likes to pay taxes. After paying for her groceries, Molly McComb says the obvious. Taxes aren't enjoyable to pay for anybody and wouldn't mind seeing the grocery tax go away. I feel we pay a lot of taxes on groceries <laughs> and with inflation and everything, it's really probably cutting into a lot of people's budgets. Her shopping at this to pair schnooks could soon bring relief as a number of bills working through the Missouri Senate would repeal a tax on groceries. Currently, Missouri is in the minority in the U.S., just one of 13 states that charge taxes on groceries at all. It's easy for someone in Jefferson City to cut city taxes or it doesn't affect the state budget. That's Doug Harm, city administrator for DePere, a city with several large grocery stores in it. He says the grocery tax gives the city anywhere from two and a half to three million dollars a year. That's about a quarter of the general fund, which pays for roads, police, fire, and other basic city services. He didn't want to say specifically, He'd have to cut police and fire, but you know, follow the logic, and if we got to cut 25% out of a $12 million budget, then logically someone's going to have to come out of police and fire or find another way to fund those services. Maplewood City Manager being more stark in a memo to the mayor and city council, saying we would likely have to lay off 10 police personnel, eight fire personnel. Going on to say our ability to provide police and fire services would be so poor that it would endanger residents and businesses. The only other way a city could add revenue, begin charging or raise property taxes. Something that Harm says wouldn't make up the difference for DePere. Not only would we have to get voters to approve it, but we, we could only go so far and it still wouldn't be enough. And that's not a trade that some DePere residents want to make. I'd rather have the grocery tax. <laughs> I do enough personal property taxes. Now, a couple of other cities, at least a couple of other cities, would be affected by this as well. Creevecourt and Chesterfield will lose about 10% of their general fund revenue. The city of St. Louis would lose over $17 million a year. And in fact, a lobbyist for multiple cities told me today that he fears some cities are in fact in jeopardy of going bankrupt. That's due to future payments that they may not be able to make. Reporting in Crestwood, John Kipper, News 4.